What's up everybody, my name is Joey Corbin and welcome to another toy review episode. Now as you see my eye is kind of puffy and it's because I've been rubbing it a lot today. I don't know why, it just keeps on itching. But anyways, that's not what you're here for. I Hopefully you're not. If you are, that's kind of weird, but whatever. Anyways, today we're reviewing a Goosebumps toy. This toy is from the 90s, you guys. I grew up with this stuff. You know, I grew up reading it, watching it, playing with it. They had so much stuff and if you don't know what I'm talking about, they had, you know, books they had DVDs they had costumes which I'm gonna be reviewing this as well um, not in this episode but in the next episode which will be coming soon so look forward to that so yeah today we are going to review this awesome Goosebumps monster bags toy I got the Horrorland guy because I really like the One Day at Horrorland episode and book. They're both really good. So I picked up this guy. We're going to check him out. On the back, it has three steps which you need to follow in order to successfully, you know, do this right. It's got goo and stuff in here, something like that. So step one is place monster bag in a container of water and let it soak and expand for five minutes. Step two, remove bag from the container and use the cutting tool to open it as shown. And then step three, remove character parts from the ooze and rinse them off. Use them to assemble the creepy goosebumps monster like the examples shown. Accessories are also included to add to the frightful fun. After play, discard bag of ooze, but be careful not to accidentally discard any parts or accessories. So that's what it says to do on the back. Um, sounds like a bunch of fun. Uh, not, not really. It sounds like a lot of work, but we're going to do it anyways to see if this thing still works like it was supposed to when it first came out. All right, so before we open this up, let's first take a look at the package. Here's how it came packaged, you guys. Here's the front, and here's the back with all the lovely graphics. Ooh, goosebumps. All right, now we're going to open this up and do everything that the steps told us to do. So here we go. All right, so we had some problems with the camera, with the iPad, you guys. So um, basically all we did was we opened up the bag and we poured out all of its accessories and parts to the action figure that was inside. So here they are right here. And now all we got to do is take the parts out of the ooze or slime, whatever you want to call it. Um, we got to take the parts out of it, put them to the side. And then I recommend putting the parts in some water to get the slime um, stuff off of the parts because the slime isn't really sticky it just doesn't want to come off for some reason or it doesn't come off that easy so basically just put it in some water and it'll come right off it's, it's so easy and so quick this is probably the best way to do it alright now let's switch back to the other view so I can review this action figure alright welcome back to the normal view that I usually film in that other way of filming is so much harder um, especially with the limited space I have over here. Thankfully, my dad came through and helped me out. As you've seen, I wasn't filming. But um, yeah, I'm stuck with all these parts of uh, the action figure that I pulled out of that monster bag. I'm stuck with all its parts and its accessories, like bats, um, ice cream cones, and the Welcome to Horrorland sign. And of course, the lousy, very lousy little cutting tool that they included this thing doesn't work that good and it is horrible they could have well I mean they couldn't put a real knife in there because it's a kid's toy but I don't know maybe maybe something better than this all right so let's put this figure together and see how he looks when he's fully assembled all right so here it is you guys put together fully assembled Here's the figure that came out of that monster bag of ooze, which was not fun at all. It was a mess. It got all over the place. There's actually still some ooze in this figure. I don't know if you could see in there, but there's still ooze in there. Um, slime, ooze, whatever you want to call it. It actually says ooze on the um, package. But yeah, it's still in there, and it's dripping out slowly, so that's not good. Um, so yeah, I don't know how to get it out of there. I guess I could use something like uh, air dust or maybe blow it out of there or something. But anyways, here's what the figure looks like, you guys. He has a bunch of articulation. You know, his head will turn left, right, all the way around. Um, arms will move up and down. 
um, and the legs of course move as well so, so pretty cool it's got a lot of articulation so that's a good thing um, the figure overall looks pretty decent especially since this is from the 90s um, 96 1996 to be exact this that's actually when this was made so it looks pretty good for that time I don't know I don't know if I would ever review one of these again actually I think I won't because there was so much mess I mean seriously once you guys it's like on the pictures and on the um, videos and stuff it doesn't look so bad but once you actually get into it it gets really just a mess it's messy so messy um, and look it's all over my hands I got green fingers now I look like I'm turning into the Incredible Hulk this is ridiculous it's green everywhere this is not cool now I gotta wash my hands I don't like this at all um, it does add a cool green effect though to the sign as you see there's like green um, on the sign now because of the ooze I guess that's what's on my hands but yeah that, that looks pretty cool on there but not on me so it does come with accessories like like I said before it's got the welcome to Horrorland sign it's got a bat and it's got a black ice cream cone kind of looks like the Halloween Whopper from Burger King I guess they're doing a Halloween special at Dairy Queen alright so let's see how well it fits in his hand Alright, so yeah, it does fit pretty good actually, and he holds it pretty well. It doesn't fall out if you shake it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there he is holding his ice cream cone, enjoying his ice cream cone at Horrorland. You got my ice cream. But yeah, that's basically the end of this review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy doing it. It was so messy, so much work. I didn't expect any of that. I mean, I, I know it doesn't seem like work to you guys. Um, but it really was because we had a retake a bunch of times because the camera kept on messing up uh, the ooze and the slime kept on getting everywhere and it was just ridiculous so it was a lot of work on my end but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review on the Welcome to Horrorland Goosebumps little tiny action figure this toy is actually called um, Goosebumps Monster Bags just in case you want to get one for some crazy reason now that you've seen all the mess it makes I don't know why you would want one but um yeah so there we go here's the final look at the figure that came out of the monster bag from Goosebumps so there we go all right so that's it for the review you guys hopefully you enjoyed it I will be reviewing this one soon so look forward to this this is gonna be so much more fun and so much less mess um, but anyways be sure to subscribe click like if you enjoyed it and as always thank you for watching